The Rockworks Utilities is a collection of tools typically used for the creation of diagrams based on data stored in the Utilities Datasheet. The Utilities Datasheet is a spreadsheet-style data window designed to store various types of data. Some examples of data that could be stored in the datasheet include XYZ information for creating point and contour maps, strike and dip data for stereo nets, and ion concentrations used in Piper and Stiff diagrams. This video will cover what goes into a Rockworks Utilities project and the steps you would take to create a contour map and 3D surface. The first step in using the utilities is to create a project directory. This is where your Rockworks data files will be stored, as well as any diagrams, grids, and models that are created based on your data. To create a new project folder, go to the project menu and select Create New Project. Here, you can create a new directory on your computer or choose to use an existing folder. During the creation of a Rockworks project, you'll be prompted for the project coordinates and units. Once your project is set up, you can copy and paste data into the Utilities Datasheet or import it from a variety of file types. In this case, we'll import some information containing the location and elevation of surface samples from an Excel file. Once the data is imported, you should establish the units for the columns that contain location and length information. To do this, right-click on the column titles to open the Column Parameters dialog box. In this case, the input coordinates match the project coordinates. I'll also specify units for the elevation column. Now that the data is set up, we can save it as an RWDAT file by going to File, Save. This RWDAT file and any others that we'll be using for this project should be stored in the Rockworks project folder. The final step is the establishment of project dimensions, which control the extent of models and maps that are created in the project. I'll use the Scan Data Sheet button to scan the data in the Easting, Northing, and Elevation columns. We're finally ready to create a map. To create a contour map, go to Map, Grid-Based Map. In the resulting window, you'll see a place to specify input columns on the far left, a list of menu options to the right of that, and an instruction panel on the far right. I'll match up my input columns, assign a name to the grid being created, and then adjust the diagram options. In this case, I'll plot some simple symbols, along with contour lines and colored intervals. I'll also keep the option to create a 3D grid diagram checked on. After I click on the Process button, two new tabs should appear. One contains a 3D view of the grid we just created, the other contains a 2D map. To adjust interpolation settings or to change features within the map display, simply make the changes in the tree menu and click on the process button again. The changes should be reflected in the diagrams to the right. Closing this menu, I'll be prompted to save both the two-dimensional and three-dimensional diagrams. These files will be saved in the project folder along with the grid that was used to create them. All of these files can now be accessed through the project manager on the left side of the screen. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, please see the Getting Started in the Utilities checklist and our help files. Also, stay tuned for videos on creating stereo nets, Piper and Stiff diagrams, and more.